absolutely everything that has happened to you in your life has happened for a reason. You can see that everything is a dot on the map that has led you to this exact moment. It has given you a person or an experience or a lesson or a skill or a bit of wisdom that is now part of who you are. And what I want you to know is that standing here in this moment, you are standing on another dot. And this dot is part of the map that is leading you to where you're meant to go. You know who has a plan B? Motherfuckers that lose. That's a fact, okay? Every single person that wins big, every single person that you look at, every single person that you're inspired by, every single person that you aspire to be like, they only have one plan, and that is they are gonna win or they are gonna die trying, okay? All these people out there talking about whatever this is, which happens to be their miserable life they have now, all right? Those people always lose. And I'll tell you why. There's a real easy reason to understand. Because the people who go all in, burn the ships, and leave themselves no other option but success, those people are dedicating all their skills, all their resources, all their energy into producing a specific outcome. And if you're competing against someone who's going all in with every resource they have, and you're only going half in because you're half in and you're half out, guess what? You're gonna lose. So you guys out there with your plan B mentality, you need to take that shit, crumple it up, and set it on fire because all it's going to get you is more of what you already have. Every one of you has the power and the ability to come out and make your life better. If you get into that fighter's mentality where you're not just going to roll over and be treated like shit the rest of your life you're going to come out and fight back then whatever that means to you in life maybe you're being bullied in school maybe you've got someone that's treating you harshly either at home or in the office or whatever sooner or later you've got to put your foot down and you've got to be able to say enough is enough Ask yourself what you've been lying to yourself about. It's time to look in the mirror and tell yourself the truth. Whatever that truth is for you. Whatever that thing is that you've been lying to yourself about, it's time to stop. When you truly start getting honest and stop bullshitting yourself and everyone else around you, magic is going to start to happen, baby. You'll start to move forward and achieve that thing. You'll start to lose weight. You'll start to look better, feel better. Not just about your body, but feel better about yourself as a person. Whatever it is, whatever that dream is that you're holding in your mind, it's easy to think and say that you're going to do them tomorrow. You ain't going to be here forever. You're going to die. And if you ain't careful, you're going to get to the end of your life and still be saying that you're going to do it tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. You want to do that thing you've been waiting to do for years, then do it now. Don't wait. Don't make excuses. Just get up, get out, and get shit done. Because one of these days will be your last. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. And that's all I want you to know. That's, you don't have to know about every accomplishment, everything I've ever uh, tried to accomplish and do. But I want you to know that your boy E.T., I was that kid in class that nobody believed in. I was that kid when I got to college that nobody was saying I was the most likely to succeed, all right? I was that kid that nobody came to and said, you're going to blow up. You're going to do big things. I didn't have that motivation. I didn't have that inspiration. I didn't have nobody telling me that, right? But I believed in my heart that just because I wasn't in the picture, the one who was most likely to succeed, that I had a chance just like everybody else had a chance. And so I'm telling you, if you win the game, you can win. As long as you win the game, and if you woke up today, if you're alive today, if you're breathing today, you might not be doing as well as you want to do at school, but if you're in there, you could do it. You may not be the, you know, the number one person in terms of sales in your company, but if you believe you could do it and you're in the game, baby, you could do it. So I'm looking at you in your eye, I'm looking at you in your face, and I'm telling you, if you're watching me right now, whatever you put your heart to do, whatever you put your mind to do, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, I don't care if you don't have no support. With me, you, alone, we can get this thing done, baby, all right? When you become 18, when you move out of the house, when you're an adult, 
you have to parent yourself. Here's the rub. You're never, ever, ever, ever going to feel like doing the things you need to do in order to have what you want. You're always going to need to push yourself. You're always going to need to parent yourself. The bottom line is no one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. And because you're only ever going to do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you've got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. You're just not. We're not wired that way. You weren't born that way. You weren't that way when you were growing up. And you're certainly not that way as an adult. And there's a tremendous amount of liberation that comes when you accept the fact that you're always going to need to give yourself a push. Let today be the last day you make an excuse. I'll wait till tomorrow. I can't do this, I can't do that. People don't believe in me, I don't believe in myself. That may be you today. But today is the last day you stop complaining. Take no thoughts that are negative. Do not receive them. Reject everything, anything that stands in your way. You have to find a why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why do you wake up? Why do you go to work? Why do you go to school? What are you pressing forward to become? Because we all have that little piece of greatness inside of us. You may not even know it, but there's something you're supposed to be doing that can help the next person. Every day you're waking up doing the same thing over and over and over. And you say, my life is not worth living or I'm not achieving anything. But something within those 24 hours, you're missing. That's where your greatness is. The people you're around. Give me your friends, your family, your co-workers. They need something from you. You find out what it is today. No, they can't tell you. You only know. You are the one person that knows what you have to do. Some of you may not know. But it's right there. Some of you know and you're still running from it. So now is the time to stop running. Now is the time to grind. Now is the time to show the world that I was placed here for a purpose. And I'm going to live it. I'm going to help change lives. I'm going to help change my community. Look, you guys make this way harder than it needs to be. Because it's actually so simple that a not very smart person could understand it. All right? This is this is simple. It's be a good person. It's do the right thing. It's be fair. It's 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 do and serve other people and give more than what the fuck you take. This is what success is all about. It's just that most people think that it's, it's so simple, they think there's a complicated story behind it. So if you're out there and you're trying to build something and you're trying to be great and you're trying to build a great brand or a great social media platform or whatever it is that you're trying to do, understand that it's going to come down to a very simple equation. And that equation is how much do you contribute versus how much do you take? And if you contribute far more than what you take off the table, you are always going to be in a winning position. Okay. And anybody who tells you differently, I challenge you to look at their life. I challenge you to see if they're the real deal. Because anybody who's real, anybody who's built something, anybody who's become something, anybody that you look up to, I guarantee you, if you take an inventory of how much they contribute versus how much they take, they are contributing far more to literally every single person that they come in contact with on a daily basis than they take away.
I don't care who's around me. I don't care what they're doing. I don't care how great or good people think they are. But if you throw me into a situation, I'll come out on top because I won't give up. I'll keep pushing. I'll keep going every single day like it's my last day. And when those people who I thought were with me turn away, It'll just push me to go forward even more. It'll help me to focus on my true purpose. I know a lot of you are down and out, hurt, stressed and depressed. But that comes along with life. But there comes a moment, that turning point, where you're flying with the eagles and you can look down and see, I'm exactly where I need to be. I make the rules and this is my greatest life I only got one and I won't let anyone keep me from flying high that's the mentality you have to have